Yo, what's up, guys? We're gonna be doing my ones games for today. I haven't done my ones placements yet. I'm only two out of ten. So let's play two games for today. Let's see how they go. Alright, the first game we got race. Not sure who this is, but found this game basically instantly. So let's see how this goes. Actually, if I wanted to play ones up, give me a try again. Just take one touch here. I'm gonna go for a quick pop shot, make him hit it to us. Let him hit this away, that's fine. It's not gonna have much boost here. Try to close down the space a bit, make him pop it. Jump to the back wall, make him think we're controlling this. We still have control here. Go for a quick shot. He probably has this, he has time. Again, just make him pop. Play it to our corner. I'm not gonna have the boost though. Save our 20 here. Try to bait him in a bit, let's see. Nice. Good job. We've had pretty much full control so far. we been playing off of us, and then when he has control of the ball, he doesn't have enough boost to make a play. So you can bait out the touches well enough. Play it to ourselves here. We still have 60 boost. Play to open space on the right. If he hits that, I don't mind really. I can just fake this. Backflip now. Make him save it. If I can bump him, it's huge. I can't though. Ah, it's actually really unfortunate. It's all good though. Actually, you're very unlucky though. Like, I went all in for the bump. If I didn't go on for the bump, I probably could still get the ball, but. I should know, I don't have the best luck with my, my demos. The bump's working out for me. Not the greatest touch for me, but it still has boost, so it doesn't really matter. Nice, good challenge. Try play for the corner boost as well. Very interesting, I'm trying to figure out how this guy wants to play. Very odd though, I can't really get the best read on him. Feels like he just wants me to mess up when he has the ball. He's not really going for an outplay. I'm gonna fake jump here, make him panic a bit. Interesting, okay, so he's not jumping for any ball pretty much. Can't really do much on this, there's no way he gets across the whole map. And the good flick here. I'm gonna just play patient. Pretty much what I do if anyone starts to air dribble from their side. Yeah, think about the amount of resources that they have. They're probably not starting the air dribble with max like 100 boost. Like they probably have already used some to get to that point if they're starting from their net most of the time. There are some times where they are using like, they do have the full 100, like right here. Um, I'm just gonna fake this again. So I played over him, I'm gonna fake this one more time. He actually didn't care. I could have just scored. Okay, so I'm gonna get a read on this guy. He pretty much just stays grounded. He tries not to pre-jump anything. And he's probably gonna go for airdrop bump here if I had to guess. I didn't. Okay, very interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I'll go for airdrop bump on him. Might work. Should still be able to score this. Nice. Alright, so I'll just take the shot a little bit more often. Instead of trying to do the like fakes and stuff on him, I think he's not gonna care about the fakes. Playing where the ball is. It's a consistent way to play. You can't really get done by fakes, stuff like that. Challenge. I'll just pressure to close the space down a bit here. Fight right around them. There we go. It's always good to do that. As soon as you get the full boost, try to close the space down. Especially if they're facing their net. They're going to have a hard time outplaying you and getting the speed to get back to the ball. So you can force that pop and have a huge advantage. I just saw that he messed up his kickoff. I was staring at his nameplate. As soon as I saw that, I knew I could just get a free goal. Take my time. I played this guy before last season, I think. I think it was this guy. In ones. I'm starting to remember the play style. It's very just like dribble on my car. Like this kind of stuff. Air dribble bump. Yeah, basically the same thing every time. So just like dribble, don't flick it ever, air dribble bump. So I can just go for quick challenges. Close down a space early. Don't let them get to the point where they can't air drill bump. That's the main thing. It's a good bump. 
Very interesting he stays on that ball. Just gonna throw that away, get the mid boost here. <laughs> How does that work? Oh, that's so funny. There's like a air dribble one inch off the ground. Like he's just barely off the ground. Somehow wins a 50. I don't think he even thought he was scoring off of that. I think he was just trying to fit to my corner and it worked out really well for him. Get a flip. Just threaten it the whole time. There we go. I wanted to wait as long as I can with that flip to make him think I was going to fake it. Because both other times I got a flip reset, I just faked to the ground. So using our, our past patterns to our advantage there. Let's instantly go here. Most of the time, if I don't, I'm just screwed. If I do, I'm screwed as well. Just really unlucky. Kick off going like that, to be honest. When the kick dies like that, and they have full control with boost, and you don't. This kick is just good, to be honest. It's just doing that every time. Gotten three gold off that. Ah, oh, man. Ones are, ones are annoying, to be honest. They're, they're not the most fun. Feels so, like, not satisfying. You're just like dominating the whole game and then shit kick off goals. Kick off goal after kick off goal. I remember there was a game, I think it was like 2017, this game. I was playing against Scrub. This one Scrub was considered like the best ones player. And I uh I was up six goals or something. He gets I'm not even kidding, I think he got like five kick off goals in a row. This guy's just air dribble puppy everything. Oh man. It's a funny mode. It's a funny mode. It's a funny mode for sure. I think people put way too much weight. They'll watch like other players that play ones and they'll put way too much weight in this mode. Cause I think it has nothing to do with threes, three skill at all. Cause in threes and stuff doesn't matter. Someone can go for a drill bump, but your drill bump doesn't really do anything. I kill one guy in threes, it doesn't do anything. I don't know. The goals feel so not satisfying, but I know you guys love when I play this mode. So that's why I usually don't have many games played in ones. I don't really enjoy it. I just thought like, I don't know, if, if I abuse the things that are abusable in this mode, I feel like it would be very hard for me to lose a match, but I don't want to air drill bomb at the air drill bomb. I don't know. If any of you guys watched Beyond the Summit, I think I did that against Scrub. I literally air drill bumped for an entire game straight and just won, and he was considered one of the best ones players. He was like considered a top three ones player in the world. And I won pretty easily just air drill bumping. I won like 10 to 6 or something. Literally just air drill bumping every time I got the ball. It's just funny, like you can abuse that stuff in this mode because there's no other players to like get in your way. If you have full control of the ball, there's no other players to get in the way, right? And that's funny, this dude got SSL and he's probably high up as well as SSL because I played him last season. Off of literally just air dribble bumping and low 15 and everything. It's, it's actually the, the, the only mode where you can just abuse or spam the same move and it'll work every time. Because in like threes or twos, if you just spam those, it's not really going to work. You have so many players, like you have a player that can just throw himself at the ball early and they can't really air dribble bump you if you do that also you got kickoffs in this mode so you can be up by a lot and then still lose i don't know it's, it's a it's a hard mode after i played this game for seven years it's a hard mode to enjoy after playing so much threes because i feel like threes is actually it's a really good game mode i feel like you can rely on teammates you can actually pass make nice plays i feel like solo plays are ugly compared to a good team play or just like slowly breaking down a team's defense solo plays are not as nice of a feeling as those for me at least, that's the way I feel. But get into one more game, see if we can finish off another win. I'm glad we won that game considering he was doing what he was doing. We're pretty much playing the most like frustrating way you can play in a ones game, but we got away with it. Ended up winning still. But yeah, let's get into the next game, see how it goes. Oh, we got a sweaty game here. Drees plays a lot of ones. We got Dries, who recently got signed to Optic. I think Optic took over Envy's name or something like that. But yeah, flip here. I've actually never played Dries in one. Let's see how this goes. Nice. We have play. You got to flip early on. It's to our advantage. You have a flip still. Wave dash to flip early if you want to. A lot of options. I'll do the same thing here. This can go wrong, by the way. Like This can easily go very wrong. I didn't want to pinch it like that, but the way he went off the ceiling actually made me be in a really awkward situation. Could have just been a goal straight up if I hit the shot. 
He isn't very good off the walls, stuff like that. So we gotta be careful when he's going up the ceiling and stuff like that. But at least from Dries compared to Race, the guy we just played, I understand how to play Dries a little bit better. He's another pro, and I understand the way he likes to think. Someone like Race, it's gonna be a little bit harder to, to get a good read on what he wants to do in one game. If I'm playing him in a series, I'll probably be able to figure it out by game two, but a little bit nicer playing someone like Dries. I think he has more skill than the last player we played, but it's a little bit easier to understand what he wants to what he wants to go for. It's a good beat. There we go. Well done. We're both using the same title. This title is a cheat code. I'm using it as a joke, kind of, because it's a little bit busted. It just says RLCS Regional Champion. It's like for all the seasons. It doesn't even have a season specified on it. It's, it's funny. I don't have any boost there. kind of have to go for a challenge like that. Even though it's like bad, I don't really have much of a choice. There's too many options. He's, he just got the 100 boost plus full ball control. I have to hope I get a challenge win that goes left or right there. Nice. It's going to be a really, really sweaty game to the end, but it's a fun match. Also, he's not lagging, he just alt tab this happens to my, my ping as well. Every time I alt tab between goals, he's probably checking if I'm streaming or something. I haven't streamed in a while, by the way. Many of you guys watch me on Twitch often, sorry. Nice. Also, this is just me knowing how Dries plays, pretty much, the only reason why I'm winning this this easily because he's a very good player and I think he's gonna come back to be honest I, I can see him coming back but I know he likes to pop the ball up go for a lot of fakes stuff like that good save actually a really smart touch from him it's gonna be a goal good job but yeah the only reason why I had that kind of lead or I'm able to read him this way is because I played him a lot in pro games pro scrim stuff like that I played him a lot in twos Start to know someone's tendencies a little bit better when you play them in those modes. Nice. I just saw it. He was a little bit too far forward. I don't think he thought I could recover the ball in time. Thought he had time to go for a boost like that. Yeah, I really think he's capable of coming back from the still. It doesn't really matter. Three goal leads, not really much in ones. I'm gonna stay on this, keep pressuring. Might be dumb a little bit, but I think it's making him panic a bit. Nice. Minimum save. That's actually not bad for us. He still has an advantage here by a lot, I'd say. Yeah. Really hard to get, a get away with that. There wasn't a moment in that where he didn't have full control of the ball. I don't really have boost to make a play. Best bet for me might have been the path better over the little pads might have ended up working out better for me it's gonna bump me still has control here I don't think I can get back yeah he's just been getting the the big boost before me pretty much basically why he's gotten his last few goals just so I don't have a boost to work with I'm gonna go for a fake here. You might expect it. Wow, he went for a shot off that. <laughs> what the heck? How did he get bumped so hard? <laughs> Very interesting series of events here going on. What is going on? He goes again? What? <laughs> what is happening? I don't even know what's happening, dude. Alright, this game's up in there. I don't know. He's trying to stay on the ball so much. I can't tell if, I, if I, I'm in control or not, to be honest. Good save. He's just sitting there.
Ah, uh, I missed the boost. It's actually really bad. Got the bump on him. Should be enough. Got the boost off of him. He has to go back to his corner now, I thought. Ah, uh, that's bad. I messed up. I should have done what I was going to do, regardless of if he was back wall. I should have still done what I was going to do, because I probably would have got at least a 50 out of it. He played it so aggressive. It's very risky of him, but it worked out. I think he'll tie it up here in this possession. Unless I can somehow get away with the ball. Should have known. Wasn't going to jump for that. That's just the goal, isn't it? That's wide. <laughs> I feel like he's just ball chasing now. Kind of working though. It definitely is working. Since he's been doing this, he's been getting him his most most goals he's gotten all game. He's kind of just trying to go as fast as possible to every play. Not give me any space on the ball. Because he knows if I get space, I'm probably going to do something that's pretty hard to stop in terms of like air dribble bumping or something like that. Nice. Take my time on this. Yeah, he's turning fast for everything now. It's a really good challenge. Just won us the game. It's good. All right, good games today. We got a solid, solid two wins there. First guy's a ones grinder. He's also a ones grinder, but also a pro. So it's a fun match to play. It's always fun playing fellow, fellow pros and. Trying to find out how to play in ones. So I've never played Dries in ones before. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have yourself a wonderful day or night, whatever time it is. Means you're watching this. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys on the next one. I love y'all. Peace.